what's going on YouTube Q back here again with another video for you in today's video I'm about to respond to race car friends video first of all shout out to the minute culture we got blueprint one le hunter gang nate and race car friends but back to race car friends he just dropped the video about why you should get a WRX over the integra type s and civic type r but I'm about to tell you all why you should get an integra a spec technology package over his limited WRX as you all know this car is for sale and fun fact I was going to trade this in for a WRX but I did not want to do that and I'm kind of glad it didn't work out because I think the WRX is an inferior vehicle to the Integra but there are some pros to it as there is with any vehicle there are some pros to the WRX over this but I'm about to hone in on why you should get the Integra over the WRX The first reason this looks better I don't know too many people that say the WRX looks better than the Integra but yeah looks and that's all I'm about to say this just looks better the WRX has that cladding over the wheel arches and under the bottom part I honestly don't mind that but a lot of people say it's ugly and it, it doesn't I don't know why they did that and they just didn't body match that but it does take away from the appearance of it but this looks better and the back tail lights look like an old Civic. Not to say that this doesn't look like a Genesis Coupe, but I feel this looks a lot better. This is an attractive car compared to the WRX. With the WRX, I feel like they packaged it wrong because you don't get the best features of the WRX till you go to the GT trim. And 80% of buyers that buy a WRX get the manual, but the GT trim is only a CVT so they save the best features for that so the adaptive cruise control you don't get that with the manual wrx you got to step up to the gt which is like forty-three thousand, which puts you at civic type r pricing and then you also don't get the adaptive suspension you can't get that with the manual transmission like the integra has that i got adaptive suspension in here and they got the comfy seats in the gt trim you can't get that with the manual transmission so and the interior choices on that one is kind of bland you get the black seats or gray seats with the cloth on the base model you get a cheaper one and then the premium you get a better one and then the limited you get a better one they step up each level with the seats the integra you can get different color seats you can get red you can get black seats you can get what is the color it's like an off-white the orchid seats so you got more options and customization for the integra when it comes to the interior with the seats so the wrx does have hood struts Woo! the integra does not one thing the Integra has that the WRX does not have so in this vehicle the MPG so this is way more efficient than the WRX we got 26 city 36 highway the, the WRX is at 21 city and 28 highway and you will be lucky to get 28 highway on that this car I proved y'all in the video form I got 47 miles per gallon when going like 55 but if you're cruising at like 65 to 70 you can get 40 miles a gallon on here the WRX will not be that efficient no matter I can drive this car at red line and it's still going to be more efficient than the WRX well, another thing about the Integra the shifter the best in the business the Subaru does have a good shifter as well and you can option for a short throw shifter but you are not getting much better than this this is man this is the bees knees right here man you're not about to beat that WRX crew and now while I'm inside here the infotainment on the WRX, it looks good and it's a much larger screen, but it is kind of, uh, my experience with it was pretty bad. So that big screen in the WRX is laggy. I got in there, it reset. And then just to turn on the heated seats, you gotta like go through the menu. It does have like buttons down here somewhere, but it's like to get to the three stage, you gotta go in the menu of the infotainment center. Whereas in here, if I wanna hit my heated seats, boom just a hard touch button right there this has physical knobs the WRX is mainly just a, a touch screen and then speaking of the interior race car France was talking about his interior lighting I got LEDs in here too cut look at that LEDs and then I also got these little lights right here they shine right down to right here so I can see my phone in the phone charger Voila! Also got a heads up display in here. Surprise. Also, race car friends was 
toting off his uh, sunroof, we got one in this one too. So you don't get one on the Type S, but if you drop it down, this is a good competitor for the WRX. This is a better daily driver. So you get all these good features in here. And you can get the adaptive cruise control in here with the manual. You're not getting that in the WRX. So you get the poverty spec in the WRX. And you see in my video on the one I ordered, had all these blank buttons everywhere. That ain't it, folks. That is not it. Last but not least, this ELS Studio. Now take this from me. This is one of the best things about the Integra. The sound system in here is amazing. And fun fact again, I used to work at Harman and I used to do the EQ tuning on the DSPs. I calibrated the amplifiers to get the car to be calibrated to the right levels. So I know a thing or two about audio. This is a better sound system than the WRX. Now where the WRX will make you think it's a better sound system, it's more punchy. You get more bass. But as far as the clarity and overall experience, ELS is a better audio system. It's just better. That's all I can put. You get more bass in the Harman Kardon and the WRX. It is, uh, if you like bass, then that's great. This has bass too, but this can go, I can drive this with my windows all the way down and the volume all the way up. And it's still clear. It's just clear. You're not going to get that with the Harman Kardon. And we got way more space in the Integra too. Oh, another LED in the back. Got red seats. Way more practical. Come on, man. This Integra is the winner right here. And it's nighttime now. That WRX is not going to light up its door handles when you walk up and approach it at nighttime either. That's a little something you get nice with this Acura. So that's all I got for this one. Why you should get the Integra over the WRX. So the WRX is a fine automobile, but I still think this is the better car. Like I said, it does. If you want more performance, WRX is the way to go. But overall, this ticks more boxes across the board than the WRX to me. It's uh, not as fast, but it still has got the, the great chassis, the good shifter in there. The clutch pedal is good. It's engaging. It's a, a better overall everyday car. And then if you want to step it up, you got to step into the Type S or the Type R's. The WRX is not going to be on that level of performance once you step up to that. It's in the middle of the both of them. And the price is closer to the A-Spec Integra than it is the Type S. But if you get that GT, then you're right there at the Type R prices. And then you don't even get the manual. And those only come in the manuals. Talking about the Type R and the Type S's. But yeah, man, I was this close. And this was going to be a WRX. Kind of glad it didn't happen. Because I still... I do give credit to Fox Subaru. They turned around. They, uh, I like that one particular Subaru dealership. Still kind of hate Subaru dealerships in general, at least around here, because they're pretty crappy. They, I just don't like them. Y'all seen my story before on that. Like I ordered cars. I ordered the WRX three times already, and it just I couldn't order the car, but one time, and then I ended up walking away from it. But the dealerships around here, for Subaru or garbage took my deposit and didn't have an allocation to give for the car I just have bad experiences so Fox kind of turned that around they tried to help me sell this car they couldn't give me the trade-in value but they called around to see what they could do they couldn't do enough and the car was missing for a little bit but I was about to have a WRX hope you all enjoyed this video shout out to race car friends he he's a Subaru fan boy he loves that Subaru tried to talk the whole men culture into getting one but we like uh ah, looks alone eh. but it I would love to have a, a Subaru WRX in the winter time because you can do some fun stuff. And I drove it a couple of times. It is a fun car to drive. I cannot deny that at all. Great car to drive. Great fun. Still a practical car, but not as practical as this. But there you have it. Leave me all with that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.